are looking for ways to eliminate litter, encourage recycling and other beautification efforts. But the main focus is litter. Access Carolina's Ava Brett suited up and ready to show us how these cleanup yeah. works. And then there are a lot of other ways people pitch in too, right? Yeah, I'm basically a menace to litter. It quakes in our presence along here with Summer Gannon with Keep Greenville County Beautiful. Now we're here at Lake Conesty. I almost said Oconee. Hello. <laughs> That'd be fun if we were there too. Any lake, right? But there's litter everywhere. And it's so important that you guys have done great work. That's really what your foundation's kind of focused on. Yeah, uh, Keep Greenville County Beautiful is the um, affiliate for Keep America Beautiful and mm -hmm. Palmetto Pride. Um, and we have all the government entities that are litter stakeholders in Greenville County on the board so we all work together wow. to do our best to not only remove litter but support volunteers and find prevention efforts um, and support each other in that. Mm. Um, litter is definitely one of our main concerns. We also do beautification and recycling but litter is our main focus. Because it's a main problem here in Greenville and a lot of places but you don't just stick the volunteers out with no tools, no really advice. How do you really help someone make a difference? You can uh, sign up to be a volunteer um, through the Greenville County Litter app or through Keep Greenville County Beautiful. We hold many cleanups every year. We have another one in a month. Um, we also support other um, nonprofits and their efforts like um, Friends of the Reedy River doing a river cleanup here real soon. So we'll be nice. there to help out with that and help okay. promote that. Um, we're always looking for volunteers. All the volunteers go out with safety vests, with mm -hmm. litter pickup sticks, trash bags, gloves. Yeah. And then after your cleanup, you don't even have to haul the trash away. You just let us know where you left the bags on the side of the road and the county will come up and pick them up or the city or mm -hmm. wherever you clean up and uh, support you in, you know, disposing of that litter, too, so you don't have to haul it away and get car all Honestly, I mean, it's the best of both worlds. We're making a difference, and it's not that much effort. It's a great day to be outside and, and help out. So let's take a look yes. at inside of these bags. I mean, you literally, we just picked these up, I mean, not too long ago. These are some big ticket items that could really be harmful to creatures, animals, oh, yeah. cars. And this is just from across the street. Yeah. Um, I picked up for maybe a minute. You, a lot of times in the summer, don't realize how much trash is there because yeah. all of the um, vegetation grows up and you don't see it mm -hmm. but it is out there and people are throwing it out unfortunately right. the best way to prevent litter is you know or to clean up litter is um, or prevent litter is to clean up litter mm -hmm. um, because people are less likely to litter in a place that is clean if it's already pretty heavily littered you're gonna see a lot more people littering in that area yeah. so it is a prevention tool as long as a, as well as a cleanup mm -hmm. um, but and yeah it's and you'd be surprised how much you get in an hour you can fill two or three of these bags Bags. No um, kidding. And you said it's even more prevalent in the winter because, like you said, the vegetation dies down and it's like, oh my gosh, has this been here the whole time? Yes, yes. You can see it more. It blows around more. It has a tendency to uh, migrate more. Make litter migrates. So the wind picks it up, carries it into our water. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually, um, Keep Green, or Keep America Beautiful just did a study. There's more litter in water now than there is on the side of the road. And once it oh. gets in water, it's more problematic to clean. Um, oh, it becomes yeah. harder to get to. It's more dangerous for our environment. It mm -hmm. ends up in travels into our oceans so if you can prevent it from getting into the water that's the easiest way to keep it out of the water is rather than try to get it you know in the water yeah because that does become troublesome yeah no and you're so right litter does have legs i mean just a little bit ago mm -hmm. i was chasing this to-go box because it blew in the wind so getting in the water we definitely want to prevent that summer thank you so much yeah. and she mentioned those beautification programs and so when we're going to come back tennis balls what an interesting thing right but it's a problem we'll check it out when we, when we come back all right thanks a lot ava appreciate it we'll see you in summer a little later in show now,